a Christian can be cause. A cause shows no favoritism. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. And I have in the studio today, uh, Fokwe Nkwacha, uh, who asked a question. So my question is that given that Christians or oh, Christ has redeemed us from the curses, can Christians still be cursed? Can they be cursed? Yes, a Christian can be cursed. Mm. A curse is a proclamation that is made against a person. And these words have great power to effect series of happening in the person's life. So a curse is a declaration which Affect, which can affect the victim greatly. So causes are powerful because uh, snares are released through the power of the spoken words. A Christian can be cursed. In fact, a Christian is not immune from causes. A Christian can be cursed. A cause shows no favoritism. Uh, so you need to be vigilant and learn to counter any cause thrown at you. I was in a meeting uh, with some uh, people, I don't want to say it, and I realized that the man was so bitter against me. I had to go on a three-day dry fast in order to get it out of my life. And I want to show you another example from the Bible. Goliath cursed David in 1 Samuel 17, 42 to 44. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was only a youth, ruddy and good looking. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. So David knew the, you know, the gravity of course, he cancelled it immediately. Because the Bible tells us that David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistine to the birds of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. So David knew causes were real and he dealt with them accordingly. You know, David did not have to defeat the enemies of ignorance and apathy first before he countered the causes directed against him. So he went on the offensive almost immediately. So causes can come even from unbelievers and that's the expected source. It can also come from Christian. Yeah, unexpected source. So someone you offended would then retaliate against you through a wrong spirit of unforgiveness, bitterness, and resentment. So a cause may originate from an offended brother, you know, who retaliates against you. So you need to resist the cause. Don't cooperate with Be more intimate with Christ. So let's say a blessing together in Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Thank you.